So for the first time since Genshin Impact's release, we are not going to be getting a new patch after six weeks since the 2.7 patch has been delayed. This is no disrespect at all towards Hoyaverse and their team. The circumstances over there guys right now in China is really terrible and I totally feel for them, not a rush at all. But I feel like it's safe to say that Genshin is on break currently. By design, Genshin is a game that thrives off of the new patches with new stories and new characters, especially the players who've been playing for so long. That's the content we look forward to the most. So until we get some like end game content changes in Genshin Impact, that's just how it goes. And I think it's safe to say Genshin is on break. I think we can take this time to talk about what we can do in Genshin or what we could do with our spare time during this downtime. If you guys like my content and all the videos I pump out, Drop a like on the video, guys. It goes a long way. And uh, let's chat, shall we? So let's get this out of the way right now. I'm not going to fill this video with a bunch of BS. If you're a new player or, you know, you've got a bunch of backlogged quests, obviously, this is a great time to catch up on those. And for the newer players, you guys probably still have a ton to do in Genshin Impact. So this video is not going to be as much directed towards newer players or people who've got like a million quests to do. But I think something all of us could talk about and prepare for are new characters coming out in the future. I would say that characters like Klee, Kazuha, Yoimiya, and then even Ido are probably coming back soon on the horizon. They are the most deserving of a rerun five stars that I think we have so we can prepare for them. But there's also the new characters coming out next patch, Yelan and Kuki Shinobu. Now we don't talk about leaks or anything on my channel, but I think it's safe to say that either both Yelan and Kuki, or at least one of them is going to be using the boss drops from the new ruined serpent from the chasm. This is a brand new boss that literally no character in the game right now uses these boss drops. Ayato was the brand new character and he used the Hydro Cube boss drop. So I think it's very safe to say that if you are a big Yelan fan or a Kuki Shinobu fan, uh, this is a good boss to farm uh, to prep for them. As for Yelan's materials, I think it's pretty, you know, safe to say, right? If you don't have enough of these, the gemstones, I would definitely farm those up. But then as for her kind of like farmable map drop that every character has, I would place my money on her using the star conch shells that you find around over here on the map because there's only one character that's ever used these child who is also a hydro character and it's an underutilized material it's also from liwa so that's kind of my safe bet if i had to do a second guess i'd say silk flowers that you find over here in liwa just because they're blue and you know flowers are pretty and Elon's kind of pretty so you know that's my that's my guess and then obviously talent books you can farm as well but we don't know which talent books she's gonna use i would assume some liwa books but i, I don't know i don't want to tell you guys to spend your resin on nothing right now for Ku Kuki Shinobu. Once again, I think she's also going to take the worm boss drops because literally no character uses those. But for everything else, I would assume uh, it's going to be Inazuma stuff because she is a part of the Arataki gang with Ito. So I would assume maybe she's going to be using the Oni Kabuto beetles as well. I could also see her maybe using something that's on those big electric islands since she is an electro character, such as maybe the Amakumo fruits since nobody uses those or the Naku weeds since nobody else uses those besides Yoimiya and Raiden. And then for talents, I would say she uses one of these three from Inazuma, but not completely sure. Now for those five star characters I said would probably be coming up soon in the future. We've got Yoimiya, we've got Klee, we've got Ido, who's up here, and then we've got Kazuha. These are amazing characters that I think a lot of people are going to want, especially Kazuha. He's one of the best characters in the game, but farming up their materials uh, so you guys can prep for them. You know, Kazuha uses the Sea Ganadorma. Ido uses the Onikabuto, Yoimiya uses Nakuweed, and then Klee uses the Phil and Nemo Mushrooms. So farm those up. If these are characters you guys are looking forward to, it could be a good thing to, you know, kill some time during the downtime. And if you're really into these characters, guys, don't be afraid to start farming up those talent books soon so that you guys can, you know, have immediate power once you get these brand new characters you guys like. Obviously, if you want any of those characters I just mentioned, you're probably going to need some Primo Gems to get them. And honestly, there's some pretty good ways to farm Primo Gems to kill some time here in Genshin. And my first piece of advice would probably be to do the Hangouts if you haven't already done them yet. You can guys can see that I haven't even done these Hangouts yet, and they do have a lot of Primo Gems inside them. I'm probably going to do a night on stream where I crack open a beer and I just do a bunch of these Hangouts, and I was thinking I'd take a sip every time I cringe. So I'm probably going to need to have an ambulance on hand for that stream, 
stream you don't want to miss that so guys follow the stream i'd love to have you and hit me up with your twitch prime all right it's absolutely free amazon prime twitch prime helps out the streamer all right but anyway no more shell yeah there's a lot of primos to find inside these hangout quests Another good way to get a solid amount of primos is the quests on your account that you might have that give primos as a reward. You know, I've got this fog one, millennial mountains, this kind of stuff. This, these primos will add up. So clear out those quests that actually give you primos. Another way to grab some primos that I honestly think is like fun and relaxing is exploration. So obviously I have hundred percent exploration on everything over here but um, I actually don't have 100% on, you know, Tsurumi Island. I also don't have 100%, not even close, in uh, the Chasm, I'm at 90% in the Underground. Yeah, it's just like these areas that you haven't explored yet. I mean, running around, having some fun, opening up some chests, getting some materials, and getting those Primo gems. It's really nice to get that 100% exploration progress on your map too. Achievements. Okay, there's a ton of achievements in Genshin. They each give a little bit of Primos. I've even got one right here feels good man but uh yeah these things add up i mean 20 primos for that one is pretty cool uh you know gives you something to log in and strive for and all the primos will add up to hopefully get some new characters in the future obviously if you don't want any of those new characters i just mentioned you know you should probably just be spending your resin on farming some artifacts artifacts are everything in genshin you know leveling up some characters that you've always liked getting their talents up you know boring normal stuff it's not something i'm gonna draw out in this whole video this one may seem weird coming from a Genshin YouTuber such as myself, but new patches equals new content. So we don't have that much to do. And honestly, I would say it's a great time to try another game. We can see the longevity of Genshin, all the different regions, all the different characters, all this kinds of stuff. Like Genshin's not going anywhere. I think it's very easy to just pick up Genshin after taking a break. You know what I mean? Uh, there's no falling behind in Genshin. It's not a PVP game. Don't let the FOMO of Genshin, you know, stranglehold you, right? That's what they want you to feel. Genshin is a free to play game. So how do they get people to, you know, spend money on the game and stuff, make it become a part of their daily, uh, you know, schedule and all that. So it's just like, don't get caught up in the FOMO. Games are meant to be fun, guys. If you're not having that much fun doing the daily grind without new content, it's a great time to try and play a new game. I know that I've been wanting to play, you know, Fire Emblem Three Houses. I never even finished my first route on that, so I want to pick that back up. New Kirby game looks really fun and cute. I kind of want to play that. There's a few other JRPGs I've always wanted to play. Xenoblade. I've never really played Xenoblade or... Um, Octopath Traveler is another one I've always wanted to play. And if you're a gacha DJ, I don't know, man. You could try out a new gacha game, right? Like I've heard uh, Epic Seven is really good. I used to play Ark Knights. Ark Knights is a really fun game. Uh, Fire Emblem Heroes, if you are a Fire Emblem fan such as me. I mean, you guys get what I'm saying. Everybody has different tastes. You guys probably have way different tastes from mine. But yeah, guys, games are supposed to be fun and go out there and have some fun and don't be afraid to play a different game. Most importantly, guys, if you guys are on a break from Getchen or if you're gonna go on a break, uh, make sure you're still watching all of my YouTube videos. So this was just a little bit of a rambling advice video. I thought it'd be fun to talk to you guys on a more, you know, personal level, a little bit of a casual thing, talking about where Genshin's at right now. So comment down below what you guys are gonna be doing during the downtime. Are you guys gonna be grinding out Genshin still? Are you guys gonna be trying out some new games? Let me know what games, because I mean, I read all the comments, I respond to a ton of comments, and uh, I'd love to talk to you guys down there. So if you guys would uh, do me a solid and, you know, make sure to like the video and sub to the channel, those things are free and they go a super long way in supporting the channel so uh please do and if you guys do want to go the extra mile supporting me making full-time content streaming all the time editing my own videos you guys can check me out on patreon down below in the description man we've got some cool uh rewards anime nights all this fun stuff daily photos from me patreon chat in the discord all that good stuff so shout out to steven gomez zick and poison tongue boy for helping out on patreon and everybody else on patreon so lads i'll see you guys in the next video or maybe on my next stream peace guys